Hello everybody, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss about an, another feature of Oracle integration, which is released recently, which is testing your integration without activation. In the parallel releases, you have to do manual steps or multiple steps before you test your integration, like close your integration canvas, go to the action menu, activate, and after it is activated, go to test your integration, provide the necessary payload, and then test. And if you need to make some changes, then you have to follow again another set of steps. So let's begin and see what that feature is and how it will help us to test our integration without having, without doing a lot of steps. So basically, with the new release of Oracle integration, which is 24.02, you can test your integration inside, which are inside the project without activation. So Oracle integration has introduced a new action when you open your integration are called test. So when you click on this test integration, it will do all the steps automatically. It will switch your integration in the view mode it will activate your integration automatically and it will fetch the endpoints and then you can provide the necessary payload to test this integration. And once testing is completed, then you can close the test and your integration will again come into the configured mode. And then you can do testing again and again till the time you your integration is tested fully. So this capability lets you automatically activate your integration with the tracing level debug and specify request details from the run integration panel inside the integration canvas. So this feature actually helps you to reduce your testing efforts. So till now you have to, to follow multiple steps to test a single integration, which is very irritating. But with this release, you can remove all those steps and then test your integration with very, very less time. So let's see how this actually works. So if you want to use this feature, of course, you have to use project. You cannot find that feature inside that integration that you create from the global area. So let's go to the projects. I already created one project. If you don't know how to create a project, you can follow my other videos to know how do we create project and what projects are. So here you can see we have one project called demo project. When you open this demo project, it will show you all the integration that is part of this project. One is REST API, REST based integration. Now, before that release of 24.02, if you see here about 24.02, before that release, what you have to do, you have to click activate two steps and then choose your tracing level whatever tracing level you have to do choose it and then activate and then after it is activating you have to wait for certain time to get it activated after it is done then you have to click this menu again and then run then it will take you to a different window and then you can enter the value run and then it will show you the result if you are not happy with the result what you have to do, you have to close this panel. You have to deactivate this integration. Uh, <clears throat> deactivate this integration. You have to wait certain times and then open that integration and do all those steps. So if all those steps that you followed so far can be done in a single click, which one is better? Of course, single step. So here, when you open your integration, you will find out a new button on the toolbar called test. When you click on this and you can see my integration is a configured mode, meaning your integration should be in configured mode to make it enabled. So when you click on a test, you will see it is doing all the stuff automatically for you, switching to the view mode. It is activating your integration. It is fetching the endpoint details. So with a single click, it will call each and everything inside, inside, in the background, I mean, and it will do all the stuff. So after it activates, you can see 
you will see this testing window. You can pass the necessary parameter, any header that you have, and then body. And let's say I need to pass this up share. And then when you run it, it will also show you the activity stream here. You see instance ID is generated, getting instance details, and you will find out the complete activity stream here. So let's wait a minute and not a minute, I guess few seconds. And you can see the activity stream has been generated. If you want to run it again, you can say run again. And let's say a nil run. When you run it again and then here, your integration will be tested. And then if you're happy with the result, you can end test. Or if you're not happy with the result, you can make further changes and then test it over and over again till the time you are happy with the results right you can and test if you're okay and test and when you do this it will deactivate and then again switch to edit mode and then you can make further changes and then follow the same steps over and over again and test and once integration is tested successfully you can close it and then you can activate as you do manually, and then you can distribute the endpoint to any, any party who would like to do this integration test. So here you see, and you can close this. So this is how you can <clears throat> test your integration without doing all those steps, which actually reduces your development effort as well. Guys, I hope you find this feature very, very interesting. And Oracle also recommend to use project now, not the global area. I hope you find this video useful. If yes, please like, comment, and, and, and ask the questions if you have. Thanks. Bye-bye.